What's up guys? I'm Ravage Dragon and welcome to Ravage Reacts here for episode 12. Today we're going to be reacting to Casper's site. This is his first compilation video that he has done. Uh, he's always wanted to do this. Well, I want to react to it. So there's going to be, uh, this video is actually called Top 5 Scariest Ghost Videos. Yes, these are video clips of usually and spooky stuff that his his channel members have sent him. So, um, I would like for you guys to ravage that like button, ravage that subscribe button, and spookify that notification bell for Casper Sites. Awesome reactor. I like a lot of his videos. Um, he uses coin phrases of shadow bastards. That's one I like to use when I see one. Um, he does a lot of stuff. He's actually pretty cool to watch. Um, very passionate. A good father figure for his kids. Yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I've been following him this past year. So, yeah. With that, I hope you guys pass in your seat belts, get your popcorn ready or whatever snacks you like to eat, and let's get to the video. All right, here's some Casper sight. Casper sight shadows. Let's go. Let's get it, Casper. It's not a mouse. The user Fated47 was relaxing in his home one night, but then was distracted by what he thought was a rustling or a sliding sound. He reached for his mobile phone to record it to send to his girlfriend, okay. thinking that it may have been a mouse or maybe even his pet bird. Uh -huh. However, what he captured changed his life forever. Okie dokie. Seems like your pet bird is sleeping. There's something over there? That's it? Fated 47 goes on to say that the crash was in fact a decorative plate mounted on the wall. Although it's hard to hear, after a little bit of an enhancement, we can clearly hear what sounds like footsteps before the crash. Are you? Oh. Now one thing that people didn't mention is the possible orb at the bottom right hand corner just as the video ends. Thus he said possible orb. That look like dirt. Now is this proof of the paranormal? Or is there another logical explanation of what happened? You tell me. There was another possible explanation. I saw the curtains moving with the windows not possibly open. Therefore, something vibrated that wall and knocked that plate off the wall. Is it real? Is it fake? I don't know. <laughs> you can let me know in the comments below. What do you think, guys? What do you get? That's not Santa. That's not Santa. I couldn't believe my eyes when I researched Michigan in the US. I came across a location called Falls River, oh. and I saw the forest right next to the river, how beautiful it was with all the colors. However, don't be fooled by its beauty, because in Michigan, things get creepy. 
<laughs> Foul Mitten Outdoors is a gentleman from Michigan who likes to document his outdoor adventures onto TikTok. His content consists of hunting, fishing, bird watching, and basically anything that involves being outdoors and having fun. However, his fun stopped when something that he normally hunts decided to visit his home. Well, she just woke me up again and uh, said she heard it on the roof, and this time so did I, so you can get out there. And... Oh, this one. I've seen this one yeah, circling well... around. Okay. Get the other side. Oh, he's circling his property. Oh, damn. What in hell's nation is that? Holy shit. All right. Some of bitches went on the other side of the house. I would have got my gun already. <laughs> what the hell? Where'd it go? What is that? That looked like a spine with the rib bones what sticking the son out. Of a What's going on here? So after being awoken by his wife to investigate the noise on top of the roof, to his horror, he finds what can only be described as a rake. Maybe. This is not their first encounter for Foul Mitten outdoors. In fact, he now hunts this creature. And what was the carcass on top of the roof? Was that a gift from the rake? Tell me what you think this creature is. Should he try and capture it, shoot it? You tell me. I want to catch it on film alive, but at this point, I'm also okay getting it on film dead. Make sure you visit TikTok and follow Farrell underscore Mitten underscore Outdoors and find out what else happens on his adventures. Will he come head to head with this rake or will it torment him for the rest of his life? All right, so that, I don't know what the hell it is. It could be a normal common animal. It could be a cryptic. But... I'm telling you this, me personally, I would have shot the hell out of that thing. <laughs> I would have. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Screw that. I don't know what the hell it is, though. Um, If it was a wreck, it would have attacked him. I'm, I'm being honest. If it's any cryptic like that, that has like an aggressive behavior, it would have attacked him already. But yeah, that, that's what I think. What do you guys think about that? The Shadow Cleaner. The Shadow Cleaner. This next clip comes from another channel member, Melissa Shannon. Okay. Melissa was the supervisor for a commercial cleaning business. Okay. Melissa was passing through the building, making sure that everything was clean and in order. She was working through her shift as normal. She was well aware of the building, but it was 1 a.m. and she was all alone. But this night turned out to be a night that she would never forget. Okay. Whilst passing by the CCTV area, she noticed that one of the cameras, camera 13, had a yellow dot, which signified that there was movement. And what she saw chilled her to the bone. Who stopped for this? Which camera had a yellow dot? Oh, that one? This is copyright free music. Now, if you missed it, don't worry, I'll it show like you again. It looked like a person off camera. The camera 13 shows someone or something 
lingering around by the shelves. Yeah, it looked At like... At first glance, there seems to be nothing out of the ordinary, but on the last second, the shadow walks to the left and then vanishes. Yeah, it looks like somebody off camera. It looks like a it looks like there's somebody there off camera. Now maybe you would do something different. But Melissa said that once she saw this horrifying image, she turned off the lights, set the alarm, and left without finishing the accounts. Would you have done the same? You tell me. I don't know. Before we get into the next couple of videos, I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of the members that sent me videos. Without you, this video wouldn't have happened. So thank you. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, and you also like reactions to the paranormal, which let's just say are energetic, then please consider subscribing. Mm -hmm. Musical all right. Spirit. Musical Spirit. YouTuber and paranormal bastard, investigator it? Rochelle G okay. likes to explore the abandoned locations that are known to be haunted. Okay. Rochelle and her friend decide to investigate an old abandoned church in Uptown New York. Don't go to abandoned churches. You don't understand the energies that be there. I mean, seriously, like on this channel. Uh, I know it was one of my previous videos. I'm still new, but it's one of my previous videos. Somebody went to an abandoned church and they started messing with the stuff in there and things went wrong. Just like you will know in this clip. Let's proceed. Strangely enough, not much is known about this church other than it is more. Again. Be careful when you go to these abandoned places. You don't know how the structure is. You may end up stepping on a piece of floor that you think is strong enough and you fall right through. So just be careful. Caution. Likely abandoned in the year 1977. The only way they knew this was because of when they walked in, they saw an old calendar on the floor which says 1977. Now, although there isn't any information about this church other than a few dusty chairs, a dusty piano, and a graveyard across the other side of the street, what they find out throughout their investigation is more information than they ever dreamt. I bet. Within minutes of Rochelle getting into the church, things get really weird. Really weird. Check this out. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. I see you, Casper Size. But there's no shadow bastards. Excuse me? What? Was that? This is the second time. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Sounds like shuffling. More than footsteps. <clears throat> Do you really want to stay there? I wouldn't be there. A little late on the, uh, morning there, friend. Watch out behind It's you. known in the that paranormal door. community that spirits can take energy from your electronic devices. Yes. Rochelle slightly shook up about the bang and the piano playing all by itself. Goes to check her equipment. And this is what happened. I'm glad that you think so. <clears throat> I have to take my stuff back with me. I'm very sorry. If you've had fun with it. Is this one off too? Are you frightened? I'm... To be honest, yeah, this, this place does frighten me. Why is this one off too? Battery. I'm a bit frightened. Yes. Good. You didn't do anything. Don't worry. It's 
just me. Hello. What? What name's coming through? No wonder with all that energy, the paranormal activity goes to another level. You're playing the closest. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. That was my random to say that yeah. though. Poltergeist. Oh, what? She's right here. <laughs> Did it say uh. Satan? These are ghosts that like to respond alone. Rochelle, feeling like she's got enough evidence, decides to go to phase two and leave the cameras rolling overnight in the abandoned church. But after looking back at the footage, what she finds is every paranormal team's dream or every person's nightmare. Okay, we will be back to pick up her stuff and hopefully show you guys what we've captured. Who's stressed? I ain't stressed. You stressed. Well, the structure is stressed. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hola, como estas? Que tu quiere? Por qué? Está tocando la pared. That's it. That look like dust. It's like that. Uh, <laughs> Again, that actually looked like um cobweb, spider web. I see, I see the spider webs. In, in. I, I I get spider webs outside on the trees in, in the summer. It's so annoying. You you what the hell? <laughs> Looks exactly like that. It looks like it's daylight outside. Stressed. Sounds like somebody's there. See, like, you see... Okay, why do I get the feeling? See, me being an editor and, and, and I like doing this kind of stuff, why is it that it feels like somebody's in a, a green screen suit and then they, 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 you can digitally add like a faint view of yourself there. So when you change the, 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 the coloring, you can see the movement. I don't know. I, I just get that feeling. That that's all. Nineteen 
knocking sounds in a church and a ghostly mist? Is this proof of the paranormal? You tell me. That feels like it was a setup on the count that her friend wasn't there when she was looking for her. That sounds off to me. But just because it sounds off to me doesn't necessarily mean, oh my god, they're faking it. There's nothing really much to fake there on the count that you just heard knocking on the door or on the wall. Anybody can do that at any point. Um, it can be from anything. It could be wind passing by something and it's just knocking on the, the wall. And it sounds like it's coming from the inside. It could be. Who knows? I wasn't there so I can't tell you for sure. But, yeah, it feels like somebody was in a green screen suit and... And they were walking around the place to make the footsteps sound and things like that. But that's just me. You know, I'm not saying, oh my gosh, you're a faker. <laughs> ah, the chateau bastard. Yeah, I'm not doing all of that, okay? So, <laughs> let's see the next clip. A tear of joy. A tear of joy. Proposing to somebody or being proposed to is a magical and memorable thing. Yes. Some people like to scream to the top of their lungs and propose to the one they love in front of hundreds, thousands, if not millions of people around the world. Okay. But some people like to be a little bit more discreet. A channel member, Frank Catanzaro, sent me this clip of okay. him proposing to his soon-to-be wife. Okay. They both thought they were alone, but somebody else was watching. Adonde? Adonde Casper sites? Adonde? <laughs> okay. Really? Cross down where? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ella dijo que sí. I don't see anything. Oh. Like a spider. <laughs> Wee. Wee. So, okay. Sometimes tiny spiders do that. Because I've had a spider come in the line of sight and do that very same motion. So, yeah. <laughs> Babe. Babe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy, guys. Now, sometimes orbs can be a split decision in a conversation. Some claim that these are just dust particles reflecting light against the lens. But some sometimes. people actually say this is the beginning manifestation of a spirit. Oh. However, to me, this doesn't look like a dust particle, and it moves in a very particular way. Spider. Tiny spider. Is this a spirit wishing them good luck? No. Or is it just dust? No. You tell me. It's a baby spider. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, a bonus. As this is my first proper compilation video, this this. I thought I'd give you something a little bit different. This clip comes from a member, Kin Siliplier. Now the video is mainly for you because I want you to try to decipher what this actually says. One night, Kin Siliply was using a Frank box and he wanted to ask the question where the spirits were in his granddad's house or in fact if they were actually attached to his granddad. Okay. Now, something strange happened, something that's never happened before and certainly I've never seen. The spirit box replied in reverse. I'm going to play the raw recording first so you can hear it in reverse and then I will reverse that clip so you can then try to decipher what it's actually trying to say. Mm. Let me know in the comments. Thank you, I heard that the joke exists and you need to not use it because I... Thank you, I heard that the joke exists and you need to not use it because I... Thank you, I heard that the joke exists and you need to know how to use them to say. Thank you, our father, and you thank need you to so love Jesus. Thank you so much for Jesus. watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, That's what it sounds like. big thank you to the members that have sent me most of these clips. You guys are absolute legends. Yes. All right, so that is all of Casper's size, and let's go with Outro Ravage.
All right, guys, that was Casper's side. Top five scariest ghost videos. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Also, I hope you guys ravage that like button, ravage that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for my channel here on Ravage Lands Production. This channel is mainly to do whatever I want. That's why I put production in it. Because, hey, why not? Don't want to get stuck to just one thing. I want to do many things. <laughs> Alright? So, what I thought of the video is very intriguing. Um, sometimes dust particles might not be dust particles. It could also be insects. Especially tiny spiders. I've dealt with tiny spiders. Sometimes I see them in my line of sight. You catch the webbing. Sometimes also it looked like that from the camera also the movement can do that U shape when it comes to the wind but yeah with that said I don't know if it actually happened or not I wasn't there so experience counts for everything right so I hope you guys enjoyed that um pretty interesting videos and entertaining very entertaining Casper Sai did a great job narrating I like his narration. I would like for him to do a video where he's more uppity and whatnot, the, the way he normally is. But, hey, it was still good. And I applaud him for doing it. With that being said, I'll see you next time on Ravage Reacts. Peace out, guys.